The mouth is like a palace. It's like a mucus, smooth, silky smooth, moist palace. Another Club Murano video. This time, I would like to present a little episode from one of my many sketchbooks. It just chosen purely at random. This episode is about Bilson, Bil, Bilson Bangerhead. And uh, here he is talking with his friend. It's always two. There's always the double feature of two characters. There's yourself and talking about yourself, or you're alone and you're imagining you're talking to somebody. There usually it's Lobado, who's a fictional character, and Leo Comet. That's often in, in the ongoing uh, the Club Murano narrative. It's often just Leo Comet and Lobado who are rooming at the Bleak Hotel in the town of Massad overlooking the toxic sea on the edge of the plains of radiation after the apocalyptic war. It involves kind of a hallucinogenic, mystical experience. Uh, and in this case, nightmare, adventure, hypnosis. It's a jaw-dropping astonishment. Jaw-dropping astonishment. And the image here is a glandular bulb inspired by the mouth. The mouth is like a palace. It's like a mucus, smooth, silky smooth, moist palace. And inside your mouth, the main inhabitant is your tongue. Your tongue lying in a bed of moisture, bathed in saliva. There, if you look down your throat, you see the little tonsils, your tonsils at, at the entry to your esophagus. And there's always the sense of little digestive wormy creatures processing, breaking down all the food and stuff that goes into your mouth. It's, there's warm moisture, tongue in a bed of saliva, worship visceral sizzling. Worship visceral sizzling. Bulging undulating, expand, contract as you eat your everything, your intestines, your stomach, the whole process. It's like science fiction, but it's not. It's for... And these are the adepts, the adepts at the bottom looking on, the adepts. The worship of the digestive model of existence. Without food and drink, you would not be able to survive. And at the end of this experience of orality, of buccal, buccal palatial orality, you serve the cake with a cherry on top. This cake, and the man here is saying, turbulent tower cake with a cherry on top. And the experience, you sit back and enjoy the experience in your brain. There's the situation occurring and your reaction to the situation occurring. The brain in this case is a ple pleasure and pain, pleasure and pain brain. And the brain like a sponge, sponging up influences of here and there, conditioning, social, uh, social conditioning, biological conditioning, etc. The, the, the mental capacity, all these things. Your mind sponges up all the information and waves and sound waves in the environment, in the psychosphere. And then you ooze words, images, music, emotions, creativity. The mind as an organism with worms sliding in and thoughts oozing out. 
So that is it for today's little homily episode, little poem from one of Lobodeau's many sketchbooks in from my cabinet over there. I wish everybody happiness, imagination, friendliness, compassion, understanding. Buccal palace, tongue in a bit of moisture, cavern of the mouth, a mucus-lined cavern. Things go in and out of the mouth. Breath, food, drink, inhale, exhale, swallow, talk, cough, sneeze, drool, sing, murmur, biting, sucking, pleading, arguing, 